What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're on the final Gwenpool mission number 10, Pool Party Story, for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, we are in the final Gwenpool mission, and we're going to, well, I guess we're not going to get the collectibles, but we're still going to have fun. We're going to get through this level and quickly talk about what is needed. Now, as you guys probably know, you have to complete all other Gwenpool missions for this one to be unlocked, and once you have all other nine missions unlocked, you're actually going to go ahead and hop into the Halo on top, and away we go! to story time with Gwenpool! Ready for some stud grab and goon smash and bonus quest action? I'd help out, but I'm waiting on a paycheck. Ammo is really expensive here. Time to shine, true believer. So, these toothy and squid guys somehow got the impression that I totally wronged some of their gang and messed up an arms deal? I have no idea where they got that crazy notion. The next thing, it was all like, <sighs> Attention, Earthlings, we have your Gwenpool. Deliver to us one billion space clubex at your world of water and splash pools, or she is doomed. Seems the tentacle gang got this crazy idea that I was some kind of TVIP. Totally VIP, you know? I've no idea where they got that notion. Shame the big hitters didn't have enough time to help out. That's them unfriended. And if it wasn't RPG night at Modoc HQ, I'm sure Batroc and the guys would have shown up. Luckily for me, one of the finest feathered friends a girl could ever know had my back. Howard assembles his quack team. The cream of the best to fly to my rescue at the water park. Let's see. Oh, I get at least one of the Spider-Men on my team roster. And the second most awesome teen girl super. After yours truly, Ms. Marvel. I knew it! This is awesome! A water park? Neat! I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we really lucked out with this one. Quit messing around, kids. We've got work to do. Check it out. As we gain control of our heroes, we are getting attacked by some squids? That's a little weird. Uh, what? I thought I took care of that guy already. I guess not. Go ahead and pick him up. Give him the old pal right in the kissa. And go ahead and destroy everything around him. Oh, look at that. Don't stop believing. Oh, that's for getting all of the true believer requirements for all of the levels. That's right. All of them. Not just some of them, but all of them. So all 20 levels of story and, of course, all 10 Gwenpool missions as well. So quite a bit, but we got them all locked up and now officially are in our rear view. And look at this. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, they appear to have a abundance of Gwenpools here. I'm not sure if those are just outfits, a bunch of cosplayers. I, I, you know, to be honest with you, I was reading my notes while we went through that cutscene, so I didn't really even pay attention to what was going on there. Regardless of that, I thought I might do some long distance bombing by hitting that guy up top, because the camera angle during the cinematic pan showed us that we needed to do something up there, but I couldn't get it to knock that guy's block off and get him down below. But anyhow, as it turns out, we have some stuff we gotta do over on the left-hand side of the pool here, and uh, it'll actually give us access into this little hut. And then we can use that hack terminal in the back to go ahead and advance the story a wee bit more. But before we do that, we gotta switch to Howard the Duck, whoo, and go ahead and bust those silver bricks over in the left corner there and build up the remaining bouncing bricks into a spin switch. Go ahead and spin to win and relocate that fan in a way that's gonna go ahead and blow that, what, that, that pirate ship? There's no sail there. How are we gonna handle that? Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good either. A little bit of a tractor beam there sucking in that, uh, actually it wasn't a tractor beam, it was just a little bit of gravitational pull from the, the blowing fan there. And as it turns out, we actually have some bricks that fall down that can be built into a Ms. Marvel pad, which look at that, she's gonna turn into a wind sail for us and allow that ship to go crashing into that hut and open that door, giving us access to that terminal inside. Now you might have noticed also that there was a silver chain hanging from the remnants of the sign up in that waterfall on the big volcano to the left. We're gonna get to that in just a hot second, quite literally hot as it is a volcanic area there. And oh yeah, don't forget to get that blue. Got to get them all, got to get them all. And look at that, we got, oh, this might be our last hack terminal for the entire game. I'm not sure of it. All, in all reality, we do have to do it in the story mode too, so this won't be the last one, but it might be technically the last terminal we use, even though we use it in story and free play. 
Speaking of which, now that we're towards the end of all of these, assuming you've played most of these levels, what was your favorite Gwenpool mission? What was your least favorite? Do you guys have a favorite character by now? Like, I'm not sure that I do. I, I certainly like Howard the Duck for his... Uh, you know, comedic effect and, and the way he looks, and plus he's got that rocket cannon. What could be better than that? However, he doesn't fly, so I don't know. I I kind of feel like the character of you know the, the best character has to be able to fly, right? You got to get out round quickly. But uh, all right, we have used the bricks that we so so. Okay, let's go back a little bit. We used that hack terminal. The hack terminal then closed the pool. The pool then broke open the diving board. The diving board gave us some buildable bricks. We built into a strong handle. That strong handle then was ripped down, and now it's opened up the dock here. What really needs to happen is we need to shoot that silver chain, as I mentioned a minute ago. And now it's gonna drop all of these little pallets and move them right on over to this dock that we just cleared up. So look at that. And now, uh, whoa, that's pretty sweet. It's like a little conveyor belt all of a sudden. We can go ahead and build up those bricks into, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but guess what? You know that guy up high that I tried to knock his block off? Well, he's back at it. He just removed our pool cover here. And we are gonna go ahead and build up the world's largest slingshot. And Howard's gonna go for a crazy ride. But we need a double grappler to go ahead and Spam, 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 spam. That's right, we gotta rip this thing back. Pull it all the way back. Little, little Klaus out, Klaus out. Oh, get him. no! Howard is out. And into the final cutscene we go. Well, it's safe to say Howard was not totally prepared for what happened next, and he was not pleased. Did I forget to mention the Squid Kids only captured my decoy? Oops, it seems the squid guys had trouble telling one Earth species from another. My little pork pal had fooled the aliens into thinking they had the original GP in their slimy clutches. Turns out I was in the splash and slide all along, at the other end of the park. What are the odds? Until next time, be good babies. What is going on? Howard's got a handful of hog. <laughs> I'm not sure. Looks like that pig's dressed up to look like Gwen and Oh, boy, you can show. We got the Hello World trophy achievement for unlocking Gwen Pool. So that was rather great timing there. And look at that pool party. Mission number 10 is complete. And free play is unlocked. Now, as you might have guessed, we got a gold brick for completing the level as per usual. And with our stud multipliers on, it surely made it easy to get that true believer, which we got that true believer trophy too called Don't Stop Believing. And I would sing it again for you, but I, I think once is enough. But uh, no pink brick, no freely, and only one character token for beating the level, which would have been the... Uh, well, let's see here. We got Gwenpool for completing all of the Gwenpool missions. So I guess technically you get Gwenpool. So you get two characters because you can't get this level without having all the other ones done. So you're going to get Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and you're also going to get Gwenpool. So I was wrong. You get two. You get two. But that's it. That's all you get. And that's going to do it. So thanks for watching all of our videos for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, especially this Gwenpool Mission number 10 Pool Party Story. Hey, if you're into social media, check us out. We've got all sorts of presents all over the place. And if you got some extra time, check out this Thumbie Must See. And of course, we've got HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our gaming and product reviews, as well as our trophy achievement guide. So check it, check it out. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.